guys, we are back for another Dokkan Battle video. So, only a few days after Global got this, uh, the guy is over here on JP. We have the, you know, Ultra Full Power Super Saiyan 4 Goku um, from the Shadow Dragon Saga. That's a ja the Dragon Fist. Um, I think that this guy is pretty good, right? He seems pretty solid. Now, I did see a lot of Global players annoyed at this um, EZA right here. You know, about a week ago when it came out. Um, to no surprise, because the weakness for this Goku is GT bosses, right? Like, if we take a look at the GT bosses team, like, like here's my box, right? Where I've got everything rainbowed, and this is it. Like, this is just not... Like, GT bosses was such a mistake, right? It should have been GT villains. Um, the, the two Android 17s that being on here her This is just not... Um, a strong category by any means now if you have the lr shadow dragon army right you'll be looking good uh this unit is going to be very very strong in here they can lead gt bosses and they also have the gt bosses support ability um there are some other characters like this guy's probably not too uncommon for people to have unless they're brand new right like this freeze i feel like could be useful and he is of course a free-to-play unit um definitely could be a bit of a an annoyance I don't even know, like, how impressive is LR Super 17 going to be in here? Is he going to be pretty good? Like, probably. I, 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 dude, I don't know. I'm not, um, I would not consider myself a really big LR Super 17 guy. To me, LR Super 17, it's like already, dude, like, this is, uh, it, it, it's such a shame. Like, I feel like we might be getting close to Kid Boo's shelf life as well, where, like, these characters drop and it's like, eh. You know, maybe if they have help or some other things or, like, other factors involved, blah, 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 blah. And they don't get it right away. And then it's like, okay, like, yeah, now they've got the help. But, oh, too bad. They're not really that impressive anymore. Right? I feel like we're probably closing in on that for SDR Kid Boo, And potentially even, like, LR Gen Emba, Right? Like, if they don't get, like, a good team soon, uh, you know, by the time the 8th anniversary rolls around, I, dude, I am expecting big power creep potentially to set in again for the eighth anniversary we'll see we'll see maybe not um but you know because it is possible that uh 200 leader skills so sort of just let that chill out for a little bit right i, th I think that's that's very possible they're, they're gonna slowly build up these other teams before they like take another leap like they did because the seventh anniversary was a really big leap in difficulty right um between them adding in um uh, red zone and 200 leader skills so we'll see we'll see if we don't get, like, a huge jump, again, in power, then, you know, characters like Kid Buu, Janemba, uh, oh, no, the cord, the cord, yeah, don't forget the cord, <laughs> um, but, like, they, they, they should be good to go, cord, hello, yeah, okay, okay, it's connected, all right, cool, 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 and yeah, nice, great, great start to the video, <laughs> hello, yeah, thank you, ay, 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 people always, listen, they make the chords bad intentionally. That That is my official uh, sort of, like, theory there. One thing I don't understand, right? I guess this... Here's a boomer thing coming out. I remember many years ago, like, the headphone ports and stuff like that used to be on the top of the phone. I feel like that's better. Like, it, because you could, like, plug it in on top of the phone and then you could, like set your phone on something right like maybe am, am i crazy I, I feel like it was much better back then it might have been a little bit easier to handle this uh, all right anyway uh we'll just destroy this goku here i don't imagine goku's gonna be obliterating us they they couldn't have made this too hard right i don't think so um considering how weak the gt boss's team is and considering how like you know, even though this, like, he's really not that good, I, I, LR Super Baby 2 is probably still one of the best units on the team, even if he's not that good, right? So, like, you, you think about stuff like that, and it's like, I don't feel like they would make this guy really too tough for us to get through. Um, oh, good. It's going to be one of these days today. All right, here, let's do this. It better not, because we've got a lot of ultra full power Super Saiyan 4 Goku, um showcase is coming up today right like we're gonna i'm gonna you know of course do his 200 percent video we'll take him we'll go up against red zone broly we'll go up against some um, red zone omega right um i've already seen um you know a lot of global players have used this guy to great effect against broly it does make sense right because the way you want to utilize many sort of like 
I don't know if I want to call this guy a fringe character, but the way you want to operate in red zone right now is more so bringing characters against stages they have type advantage on is how you want to handle things, right? So this Super Saiyan 4 Goku would be really effective against, say, uh, Android 13 um, or Broly, right? Because that final phase, it's kind of like, you know, you use your double Whis or whatever to make it through AoE Broly. And then you have Tech Super Saiyan 4 Goku going up against AGL Broly, where, you know, even if AGL Broly super attacks, he's probably not going to just one-shot you supering that Super Saiyan 4 Goku. And that Goku, you know, on the, like, GT Hero team with, like, LR Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta or other similar characters, uh, Goku is going to do a lot of damage. He is a very hard hitter. So, you know, you get LR Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta triple supering in slot one, and then you have this Goku, like, double supering, and that's, you know, nearly going to be GG right there. Okay, if we get this rotation, this is the strongest rotation we can get um, in this run right here, is the LR Shadow Dragon Army next to Texan Shenron. Um, Texan Shenron is very good. That's another, to actually, Texan Shenron, that's another character who, you know, it's like if he doesn't get a good team... Right, like, like, hit the, like the, the sands of the hourglass are falling down for him. Um, that Texan Shenron, I think, is, is really quite good. Quite an effective unit, but it's not like he's going to be good forever, right? Like, power create. Like, as unbelievable as it sounds, Texan Shenron is closing in on a year old, right? Like, it's, we're in, we're in August, man. Like, we're, we're getting close. You know, it's Texan Shenron came out in January. We're closer to him being uh, a year old than him being, you know, day one release on JP. So, all right, God damn it. Uh, um, whatever. I, I don't, dude, I don't even care. We'll, 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 whatever. I, I was going to say, I don't even care about Super 17, but we'll, we'll just give him the orbs because then it's going to fall down like that. And then Tex, Texan Shenron should hopefully get his double or triple super attack. I'll One thing I'll never understand with Super 17, how, how well will he tank this? Let's see. But one thing I'll never understand with Super 17 is why they gave him his key mechanic where he only has a 50% chance. Only 60k? That's nothing. Okay. Yeah, that, that's... Okay, yeah. So, I don't I don't think this Goku hits very hard then. Um, I actually set... I, I, I'm just, like, doing what the auto friends list is giving me. But I actually set um, the LR Shadow Dragon army as my friend lead for my friends to use. Because I feel like that character... It is going to be more effective in here as a support that's also got type advantage that's also going to work really good with sin shenron i i feel like that's a better unit um for me to set and it's like lr super 17 his gt boss's leader skills 150 percent like i don't i don't know what they were thinking with that 150 percent on for gt bosses dude like gt bosses should be getting 250 percent right like uh, yeah, forget 200 percent leader skills like, how about 250 how about 300% for GT bosses right like look at this team look how bad this team is it's so it's so terrible this this is sad very sad very sad well I mean if they keep giving us Sin Shenron though that's really good um I really would like here let's do this and then that should give us what we need for Sin yeah because Sin Sin is our Basically, like the best unit we've got on the team. Oh, yeah, I think he is. That 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 Texan Shenron is probably the best character on GT bosses, right? Let me actually pull up the full category. Uh, who would we say is better? AGL Super 17? Probably not. Because uh, LR Super 17, like, he could be good. Like, he's just not... Spe like, LR Super 17 is not doing anything special anymore, right? Like, he can get, like, 400k defense start a turn or something like that. But it's like, alright, cool, like... So he just gets one shot by a lot of the red zone bosses, right? Like, 400k defense is literally nothing most of the time. Like, it's not really that impressive. Yeah, GT boss is just so ass. I, yeah, I, I do think... I think that Texan Shenron is probably the best character in GT bosses. I, I would probably say so, yeah. Um, we'll, we'll just... Maybe I shouldn't have done auto right here. What? It doesn't matter. We're, we're definitely going to finish him off in this turn. Oceanus is, is at least, like, a, like an okay unit. She'd be a lot better, of course, if we had her next to the Shadow Dragon army, right? Activating, like, the Shadow Dragon link and stuff like that. Oh, uh, but she's at least... Oh! The five dodge. That's five dodge right there, baby. There we go. Remember, 
she's an int unit, so she gets free dodge anyway, but you always want to give your characters the three dodge. I, there's a lot of people who don't do it, and I just feel like it's it's just completely foolish. Um, there's no reason why you would not want to give your characters three dodge. You're literally, like, giving yourself a 0% chance a lot of, in a lot of situations, right? I, you guys know, I've, I've got so many runs up where three dodge literally saved it, right? And a lot of times people will get confused, and they think you have to three dodge a super attack in order for it to be effective, and a lot of times that's not even true, right? There's many situations even where, you know, some character, like, I don't know, uh, physical GT Dokkan Fest Goku is taking, you know, like 100k per normal uh, f with type advantage from, like, Omega Shenron, right? And it's like, he gets even one three dodge, and that's saving you, like, 100k health, right? So, three dodge is always um, very effective on a lot of characters. Okay. So, here is stage 30. We got, a, actually, a pretty decent opening rotation right here. Uh, our boy Sin is going to be able to have... Um, a lot of his links activated right here with, uh, you know, we're going to have... Actually, we don't have Big Bad Bosses activated because Super 17 doesn't have Big Bad Bosses, man. GT Bosses leader, no Big Bad Bosses. The thing that really sucks about that, too, um, is that there's those SR Android 17 characters that came out with AGL Super 17, and when you Dokkan Awaken them, uh, into an S into like you know an SSR, uh, the SSR Super 17s, they have big bad bosses. The physical and tech Super 17s have big bad bosses, so it just really hurts. All right, really, really hurts. How much will this do? Double digits? Yeah, yep, yep, yep. I thought so. Yeah, again, Texan is is the best unit on GT bosses, so doesn't really surprise me there. Not bad damage from Oceanus. Yeah, we nearly one turned uh, stage 30 right here. Not bad at all. Yeah, so, I, I mean, oh, yeah, oh, damn, I, actually, I gotta remember, I gotta get the stage 77 for the title, right, for this and the Peppy Gals one, I, 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 I forgot about that, I, I haven't even made progress in the Peppy Gals one yet, although that's, I mean, that's gonna be free to do, right, that's, it's not gonna be tough, um, but there we go, there is, uh, you know, ultra full power, super full power, Saiyan 4, Goku, um, his, uh, easy event, it, this Goku seems pretty, like, this boss seems pretty weak, stage 30, but it's because it's a it's just a dreadful category that they want you to use. GT bosses is so bad. And like there's an additional GT bosses free to play character, the Hyper Metal Rildo, who I, I actually I could have brought. He would have done he I probably should have brought him here. Um, but he's not out yet on global, right? But there we go. Uh, we got stage 30 done. Uh, I'll go ahead and get this boy easy aid, um, and we will uh, see how effective he could be um, on his 200% leader skill.